Oh. Hello, hello, hello there, my crafty buds. It's your crafty bud, Peggy. And uh, I'm getting with you uh, with a little project share here. I've uh, been doing a little crafting, you guys. I've been thinking about my buds over in Texas. All you guys that's been affected by this hurricane, my heart is right there with you guys. I'm so sorry for what y'all are going through. Uh, and my friends over here in Florida, oh, I hope this gets over with soon, and I hope y'all are in a wonderfully safe place. Uh, guys, I've been doing a little crafting, like I said, this weekend. I've got a couple of projects I'm going to share with you real quick and see what y'all think about what I've been up to. But, guys, uh, the first thing I've been doing is I've been working on a little friend mail for my friend uh, Joy Menace over there in Spain. Uh, Miss Joy's been uh, uh, graciously waiting, I should say, for my uh, friend mail. I've been telling her I've been working on some stuff for her. And because it's so far away, I wanted to send her something nice. Uh, she's always sending me stuff from Spain, and she's the one that got me going with the hand for Grandma. So, uh, anyways, Joy, I'm, I'm working on some of these. Uh, I'm going to start putting these in my little friend mail over the holidays. Uh, I've walked out one of these. I got a template over there at Salvation Army a while back. And I've made uh, one of these, and... Uh, it says it never hurts to whine a little. This one does. And they're just cute little door things. Never hurts to whine a little. This can go around a wine bottle. Uh, and they've got a little bowl that goes with them. And in this one here, I love the statement on this one says, Friends are like bras, close to your heart, and they're for support. So, I just love these, and uh, I've got some templates in there that I'm, I'm working on these, and uh, uh, some of you guys will start seeing these in your uh, friend mails, because I really like these, and like I said, i got a couple templates in there I want to share. And then, uh, for Miss Martini Girl 1, I've whopped her out a set of uh, stick pins. I've been working on some stick pins and these little matchbook things here. And uh, her and Miss Joy is getting these. Uh, these are the first things that I've worked on here. And uh, for Miss Joy, uh, I've made her some clothespins to go in her friend mail. And I made her one of these IC cards a while back. And this is the hand that I've made Miss Joy. And I'm sending that back to her at, uh, uh, to Spain. So, I thought, you know, that's some of my splat paper. That's not my um, paint ninja paper, but it's my spray splat. And uh, so, I decided to put some nails on that girl and do up her fingers and stuff the way I used to like to roll back in the day. And there's the hand that I'm making Miss Joy. And, guys, these are my first lace books I've ever made. So, I hope you guys like these. Uh, Miss Joy, I'm going to show these, and you get first pick of these, and then I'm sending, the other one is going to Miss Martini Girl 1, but because you've been waiting so long for your friend mail, I'm letting you choose which one you like the best. I call this one my Elizabeth Taylor, because this picture on here kind of reminds me of Elizabeth Taylor. And guys, I went with, um, the tea, uh, sack towels that I cut down, and I coffee stained them and let them dry and folded them over. And I've used uh, real vintage uh, crocheted trim on these. Um, I used muslin that I hand dyed with my spray inks back here. And, and uh, fringed the sides of them. And then I used the peel-offs to make my own ribbon up here on the top. I also added an applique on her and a uh, chiffon flower down here with a couple of pearl and diamond pops. Um, and this has a little bit of a beaded, a little fringe on it. And then I also used um, vintage crocheted uh, tassel trim on the bottom. But this is the first, the front of it, guys. That's the front of it. And then this is the sides and around it and then the back of it. And again, I've used the vintage crocheted trim. And then this is the first page. I've just used the vintage ladies and um, put them on muslin paper, uh, muslin again that I've hand dyed 
and fringe and then I used the fringes to make my bows up here and then I've added beaded appliques and different pieces of crocheted doilies and gorgeous appliques There's my bow on the top. I added a vintage heart up here on the top of that and put a pearl in that. This third page is one of my handmade, hand-dyed lace flowers. I made this and, and made one of my bowls down here and then again uh, did the, this. Now these came from Miss Marlene, who I'm making a book for as well, Miss Marlene, so you can tell me what you think about my work too. <laughs> But there's my flower. That's the first one of them I ever done. And there's the bowl to that. And then this here, I've got little diamond pops behind it. And you can see that through the, the lace that I put on here. I hope you can anyways. But yeah, I've used the little diamond pops under there. And uh, so that it'll kind of shine behind that flower. Do y'all like that flower? Like I said, that's my first one I've ever made out of lace. And I've hand dyed all this. So, And then I use this image on this side. And then my last page, I made one of my pages a stick pin page. I added appliques, the beautiful sequin trim across here. I've added uh, diamond bling pops here and there. I made a vintage crocheted little ribbon again down here and used more of that uh, vintage crochet trim. I just wanted to stick with that and uh, I made some stick pins to go in here. And that's what that page looks like. And in my last page, I put a pocket on it. I made a lace pocket. I layered up lace again. Vintage crochet trim. Made my bowl here. And uh, did my, my image with my hand sprays. And then I made a homemade tag that goes in it. And then I added vintage cardstock or chipboard actually on the back to make a nice sturdy tag. So that it will just slide right down in there. So that's my very first lace book guys it ain't a doily book it's a lace book like I said I made it out of tea towels so I hope y'all like it I hope I did okay some of you seasoned veterans out there can tell me <laughs> and then here's my second one y'all this one here's my vintage lady this one is my Elizabeth Taylor and this is my vintage lady and I've done the same thing on here I went with the dusty concord grape on this and fringed it. I used vintage uh, beaded trim around the sides here. I added a flower down here that I've layered up on a flower doily. <laughs> I've added beautiful appliques in behind as well as uh, vintage bib lace on this. I also added some of that tassel uh, crocheted vintage trim on the front of this. So this is what the front of this one looks like. And then here's the back of it. And then here's my first page to this one. And they're kind of about the same. You know, I just kind of layered up vintage images of ladies and just decorated them up. I did all the dyeing and stuff on the back and everything. Try to let y'all see the chrysalis and the pops that I've got on here. I just love those two pictures together right there. I thought that was cute. And then this in here, this is actually the first book I put together. And I made a floppy lace flower to put over here. This has got trims hanging down, wedding uh, gown appliques behind it, hand strung pearls on wire, one of my chiffon flowers here in the middle. And then there's that Elizabeth Taylor pop across from this one. Ooh, there's a mosquito. And that's what this looks like. Just the big flower. It's just a big lace flower that I decided to put on here. And I was going to put stick pins in it at first until I made the stick pin page. 
and then here's the Liz Taylor and I've got some of the vintage uh, tassel trim hanging down off of this one and then this is what I did to this one this is the stick pin page and I used the vintage hang down trim on this I added two porcelain pops to each side of this with some of the pullings that I used to fringe the pictures with inside of this and then there's the uh, the stick pins that I've made to go in them but there's that page and then here's the last page with the pocket and this one here I trimmed with bling and it's got a little tag in here with the little B that says be your own person do not be conformed to the world and that's how I look at things be your own person don't let nobody tell you what to do that's the way it is with your art and stuff so but guys these are my two um lace um books these are the first two I've ever made in my life so let me know what you think about these and Miss Joy uh, like I said you get first dibs so guys uh, make sure you come back again I'm going to share with y'all some more project shares so until then be crafty be cool and I'll see you when I'm looking at you all right bye bye